What is up everyone, my name is Odinson and this is Modded Minecraft. Uh, Direwolf20 1.19 pack. We are on episode 39. And I had a disaster in between episodes, which was I lost an entire episode of building. Which probably isn't that interesting for you guys, but... It would have been interesting to show you guys how to build this turbine. At the end of the last episode that you saw, I was crafting all the materials for this. But um, anyway, I could talk about it. So what we have here, I can't even remember the dimensions. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, and 11 by 11 and 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 11 by 11 and 14 high. Now, we could have gone out to 17 by 17 and 18 high, but I didn't really see the point. So you see all this. We've got the structural glass. We've got the frame made out of the turbine housings. We've got the rotor with all the um, blades on it. So if we look at the actual thing, you can see that we've got 18 blades, which means this rotor is 9 high. And on the outside, we've got all these turbine vents, but that's because like you need to fill out the outside with turbine vents and I'll come to the water in a bit. So on the first layer, other than the turbine vents, we've got the, um... oh God, I can't even remember now. Let's have a look. Can't remember what they're called. Oh, here we go. All right, so we've got the, yeah, saturating condensers, a layer of them on the inside in there. And then above that, we have the, not turbine vents, it's the other one. I can't even remember, it doesn't matter. Anyway, there's another layer in there of uh, stuff and then there's turbine vents all over the top and all over the sides here to make it up because that's the separating thing because this gets filled up with steam and then it needs to be converted to water now the reason i've got so much piping here and everything is because the maximum capacity of uh, mechanism ultimate mechanical pipes if you look across here and everything isn't actually that high um I need to go into my bag. Is there any ultimate mechanical pipes in here? There you go. So it's 128,000. But what we need to do is to make sure that we cover this max flow of 6 million just so that we can run this at max efficiency. Not that that actually matters, and I'll get to that in a minute. So we need to have enough length of mechanical pipe to cover that 6 million flow rate, which is why we've got all this which is just a tiny bit overkill for what we're doing. So what that does is that pumps water back across here and also joins the electric pump to keep this full of water when we uh, are running. So you can see we've got all this thistle fuel right here and everything in this machine. These have all been speed upgraded now to maximum speed so we can make fuel really fast now. Um, so yeah, this is all good. But the one limiting factor... Oh, great, thank you. Uh, that we I found we had with this is this. And it's the input here and everything. Because our max input is only 102.4 kilo FE. So 102.4 thousand FE per tick, forge energy per tick. And that's the problem because I found that... I'm gonna go across. It's not nighttime, it's just miserable. So what we could see here is, is that I've set the burn rate at two millibuckets per tick. And our max uh, burn rate is 80 with this current setup. But two millibuckets per tick, if I activate this, and it's super loud, so I need to get away from that and everything. But you'll see this starts turning. And Two millibuckets per tick produces more energy than we can output. 
Yay! And there's one main reason for that, and I'm just gonna shut this down now. This stupid loud ass thing. Scram it. Alright. So <clears throat> in this battery right here, although we've got an ultimate induction cell which allows us to store ridiculous amounts of energy as you can see we're inputting 102.4 kfe a moment at the moment but the um, limiting factor is the induction provider which is only basic so what i'm gonna do and i know it's gonna be a craft is so we go to craftables not that it's like this i want an elite induction provider i think 6.55 million mfe it's probably too much to be honest so if i go induction i mean how much 819 that's gonna give me a multiple of eight now we may as well go elite so i'm gonna craft one of them and that is gonna take oh and we're missing lithium okay that's good to know because we have a solution for that. <clears throat> and that is, I just take some lithium out of there. Okay, and I come back to this. Are we good now? We're good now. Okay, and it's not a huge amount of materials, it's just a. I mean, we need to craft 306 iron, 164 gold. 114 osmium it's not that bad 54 yeah i mean it's not that bad so we're gonna get that started and we're definitely gonna change that and then we're gonna work out how much we can um i mean six million is a ridiculous amount of energy <clears throat> but what i want to do in the meantime and we're gonna be burning energy here but it really doesn't matter anymore because like We're using 30 to 40 KFE. I mean, that's not, that's not, doesn't even match our input. But we got 4.13 giga FE in there already. So energy is not a concern. What is a concern is uranium, probably. Okay, that's cool. So that's going to come up next, this uranium hexafluoride. But in the meantime, we can get some. Uh, that's craftable. We're going to get... Probably don't need a stack of that. Is my Digiminer still actually running? I can't remember. Probably. Probably. I'm going to get some coal. Them source berries away. Alright. <clears throat> we're just going to get the prerequisites going. So we've got coal. No, that's the wrong one. That's where the uranium goes. <laughs> Coal goes in there. Yeah, look how fast this runs now. And then, which one is it? Yeah, it's this one. That's full anyway. Okay. But what we're doing here is creating the um, hydrofluoric acid. So that's probably filling that up. Yeah, it's filling up the pipe. That's not doing that bit. And then we just need the uranium hexafluoride. <clears throat> so what we could do is head down to our mechanism section and see how we're doing down here. Uh, everything is maxed out down here, I believe. Yeah, yes. How are we doing on our temporal pouch? Four hours, 45 minutes? Alright, hopefully that's going to clear out. Okay, good. And it's doing... Are we running out of energy? No. This thing. <clears throat> we really need a speed card in there. Uh, acceleration card. Can we make that? Okay, we're just missing this. 
control click. Uh, okay, so. Yep. We're working through our uranium now. All right, we're just waiting for that to clear. There we go. All right, we got our uranium. So whilst we're waiting for that, we can... Oh, it's nighttime. Good, we can get rid of the uh, rain now. Shut up, sheep. All right. Let's, um... Oh, I keep doing that. I don't want to pick up source berries. Right, we need to get the uranium hexafluoride rocking here. Go. That goes in there. Cool. And now we are making fissile fuel at a very rapid rate. Alright, so there's other things I need to check whilst we're um I need to see how these crafting plans are going. Two times co processors, five times co Oh yeah, we're just waiting on that. All right, what are we making here now? Osmium? I mean, that's basically done at this point. Okay. We just need to blast through this. Now then the iron's just waiting. Okay. Good, and now it's just waiting for iron. This is probably going to need to be accelerated again, maybe. Eh, not worth it for six. Done. All right, um, acceleration card, you. We're missing this. There we go. That and there. That gives us the advanced cards. Two of them. In there. And that speeds up that bad boy. Okay, cool. What are we making here? Oh yeah, we're doing this. Can't be that far off now. Yeah, look. But, 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 but. All right. So, we've got our elite induction provider. So, if we go back up to main, and then we're going to bust this, which temporarily kills our power, and then we're going to take this out. And then we're going to put this one in. Oh. <clears throat> And then we put our induction back. All right. Input is now 800,000 kilo FE, which is perfect. That's just what I need. So this should be draining out of power pretty quickly now. Yeah, there we go. Look. And we should be able to see. Yeah, there we go. 800,000. That's perfect. So now we can. I'm going to get just some more stuff for uh, uranium. 36. So I could put that way in. Uh, which means I need 28. 
just to make a stack. That's neat. Okay. And coal. And we don't need fluorite. Got plenty of uranium. I'm going to make a few more hundred whilst we're waiting after this. Okay, there we go. Green of Preferably, but it's not going to. So, if we're doing 800,000, it's a, we could, should be able to go to, say, 12. What we're going to do is put that in there. Put that in there. We'll continue making fissile fuel. And we're going to activate it. Okay. Now how much are we making now? This will be spinning faster. We're producing 616, which is still more less than we can output. So we can scram that. We can go up to 14, maybe. All right, 719, that's just below where we're at here. That's perfect, and now we're just going to look at how... Yeah, we're draining through fissile fuel fairly rapidly doing it like this, but... This is... Look at the bottom blade spinning there. I mean, the big ones at the top don't spin very fast, but... <coughs> 720... That... 720,000 FE per tick. And we could go a lot faster if we wanted to. I think we're limited now by... Yeah, Power Surge just gives us 800,000 FE per tick. All right. Steam input is stable. Our flow rate is stable. Everything's looking pretty stable, except for our fissile fuel, of course. Now, another important thing is obviously there is there is waste, but we want this waste. But we don't ever want to break one of these because it will create radiation and a huge area around and kill everything and make everything uninhabitable. So we definitely don't want to be doing that. But um, this nuclear waste is important because this is how we're going to be making our polonium. All right. So if we look at polonium... Now you did a pressurized reaction chamber. There we go. And we make a liquid polonium, polonium in a solar neutron activator. And then we put that in there with water. And we get and spent nuclear waste. All right, so we need a pressurized reaction chamber and a solar neutron activator means got some recipe make uh we went too far there we go so patterns in here so have we got a pressurized yep we've already got that so we can craft one of them and then we need a recipe for a solar neutron activator So 
to add that. We haven't got drones added and we haven't got HDPE added. All right. So we need bronze and we're going to do that in the induction furnace like so and what I want to see is how much HDPE none that's the next thing we need to get into making I think is HDPE all right so how do we make that? We do that with HDPE pellets. Oh, well, okay. and that's made with substrate with liquid ethylene and oxygen. Okay. Liquid ethylene is ethylene. Ethylene is hydrogen and Seed oil, liquid experience, water, hydrogen, water, and biofuel. Biofuel gets made in a crusher. Moss blocks are good. Dandelions are good. Potatoes. That's a good thing. Okay, so we're going to have to set that up. And we can make a start in a moment. So, all right. We've got these recipes that get put into here. So this is a molecular assembly recipe. Um, induction smelter, bronze. Okay. So we are going to need a crusher. And we haven't got a recipe for that one. Okay. Hmm. Good to know. Buckets of lava. Like an assembler. Buckets. Do please. Okay, take that, let it go, and it's night time again already, and one thing I definitely want to do is, before I forget, is, oh, stop, turn off the reactor, so we don't run out of fissile fuel when I'm not looking. Perfect, and this keeps spinning and doing thing. It's still discharging. All right. Uh, if we go over here, and maybe I've got two buckets left in this. Yes, of course I have. All right, you and you, and then we can make a crusher. Craft next. Stop. <clears throat> Actually, it's where am I going to put the setup? Probably in my mechanism room because that kind of makes sense. And then I can hook it up to the system and automate it. Right. Um, right. What else do we need? HDPE. We need pellets, substrate. The substrate is water, ethylene, maybe ethylene. Okay. We need two pressurized reaction chambers. Yeah, and they both need ethylene. One needs oxygen. Oh. 
Okay, one needs hydrogen. So we need another pressurized reaction chamber. You. Have what are you? And then we also need a electrolytic separator. Separator, yep. Hmm, let me just look something up a minute. Sugar. What happens if we... No, we can't do that. I was kind of hoping... There's no mechanism. Okay. All right. What about sugar cane? In the crusher, makes biofuel. Well, who would have known? Because I happen to have these absolute ridiculous sugar cane mountains. Where it's raining sugar cane for days. Are we done? Okay, and how much do we get? Four full stacks. And now we're gonna grow double that. Alrighty. That means we got all that. That's perfect. Okay. Um we want another pressurized. Why have we got two? Uh, I have no idea. Okay. Whatever. Got the electric separator, so that's good. We've got the crusher. Okay. Yep. All right. Let's see if we can set this up. We'll start to, before we have to go to the end of the episode, we can look at um, finishing it next episode. Okay, so how are we doing on channels down here? For 24, so we've got room for one more set of stuff. Full, full, full. Hmm. So that's that one. Where is that one going? Probably in here. If I was to go up here, that brings me out into main here. Hmm. Yeah, I agree, Mr. Villager, dude. I wonder. Okay. Remodeling time, I guess, again. Okay. Looks like there's already a channel here. Uh, bit of an issue. OK. 
Okay. <clears throat> I mean, I can live. I could put Kiwi slabs on top. I guess. Um, this. Kiwi, 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 Kiwi. There you are. One, two, three. All right, we need our smart cables, which are probably in here. But what we really need is dense cables. Okay. Uh, we did a set up cables. All right, gonna do that. All right, so this. Probably need to do that. Probably need to make more patterns. Oh my god. Missing glowstone. Alright, I'm gonna have to I'll tell you what I'm gonna do before we do this and just finish up the episode. Is I'm gonna throw that on the ground. And I'm gonna go to here, I'm gonna take ten levels, and then to the nine by nine, go into my digi miner. Hello. Yeah, you're still running. Jeez. Oh no, but you're nearly finished. That's good. Good timing. Done. Up. Oh. Right. Take our digi miner. Here we go. Herm. Oh god, I know what I forgot. I always forget to do this bit. That is. I didn't unload that chunk. Oh, I'll sort that in a minute. Alright. What I want to do is get quartz and never and glowstone and a large amount of air that. And so in order to do that, we're going to go right to the top of the never. Looks like a good spot. Looking for that bit. No. This will do. Okay, good. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna Kim there. This and uh, Lux Point is looking really weird and acting weird. Okay, I'm gonna put a waystone. That's also going to be called Digi. And then we're going to chunk load there. Like so. Good. And then we're going to look for Quartz. And that is forge. Ores quartz. Okay. Like forge. Colon. Ores. Rush. Quartz. Save. Good. And then we want glowstone. It's going to be this stuff. Forge storage box. Post it. Okay. Forge. Storage. Was it under the floor? Probably. Locked. That. 
Pile of stone. Bottom. So we've got glowstone and we've got quartz. Max height, we're at 178. And we're going to start. Getting gold. There seems to be a lot to get. But we're also getting quartz. Hopefully we'll get glowstone too. Okay, that's good. Um, sure, let's head home. Alright, that brings us to the end of this episode. I've got a whole bunch of water crafting to do and set up and all that good stuff. But um, until next time, <clears throat> as always, stay safe out there.